This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes, creators of the world's best repair manuals. Fix your car or truck the right way with our accurate and reliable information at your side. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete online manual at Haynes.com. Automatic transmission fluid and filter change. Remove the under engine rear cover. With the engine off, remove the transmission fill plug and dipstick from the right side of the transmission. Using a proper siphon kit or suction gun, remove as much fluid as possible from the transmission. Save the fluid for measuring purposes, but do not reuse it. Place a large drain pan underneath the transmission. Loosen the transmission pan bolts, then if necessary, carefully pry the front of the transmission pan loose with a screwdriver and allow the fluid to drain. Don't damage the pan or transmission gasket surfaces or leaks could develop. Remove the remaining pan bolts, transmission pan, and gasket. Drain out the remaining fluid from the pan into the drain container. Carefully clean the gasket surface of the transmission to remove all traces of the old gasket and sealant. Remove the filter by pulling it straight off the transmission valve body. Using a screwdriver, carefully pry out the filter seal, also called the auxiliary pump inlet tube seal, from the transmission. Be careful not to gouge the seal bore in any way. Discard the seal, a new one must be used for installation. Install a new filter seal to the transmission, applying ATF to the seal first. An appropriate sized socket and hammer can be used to drive the seal into place. Apply clean ATF to the new filter o-ring and inside the main filter seal. Then install the new filter onto the transmission, pressing it securely in place. Remove the transmission pan gasket, then remove the magnets and thoroughly clean the transmission pan with a solvent or a rag saturated in brake cleaner. Clean the magnets, then reinstall them to the correct locations on the pan. If the old gasket is in decent condition, it can be reused. If it is not, or if you are in doubt of its condition, place a new gasket onto the pan. Put the pan and gasket in place against the transmission and install the bolts. Working around the pan in a crisscross pattern, tighten each bolt a little at a time until the specified torque setting is reached. Don't over tighten the bolts. Measuring the amount of fluid that was drained can be helpful in the refilling process. Using a hand pump or suction gun, Initially add 3 and 1 half quarts of the correct type of automatic transmission fluid through the filler plug opening. Start the engine. While the engine is idling, depress the brake pedal and move the selector lever through all the gear ranges, pausing for 5 seconds in between, beginning and ending in park. With the engine still running, insert the clean dipstick all the way into the plug opening until it seats completely. Then withdraw it again and note the fluid level. The target level for the fluid should be at the lower end of the cross-hatched area, labeled number 1, and not in the dotted area, labeled number 2.
add more fluid as necessary, a half a pint at a time, until the fluid reaches the correct level. Make sure to shift the transmission through the gear positions, as mentioned previously, between adding fluid and checking the level with the dipstick. Once the level is correct, insert the dipstick and install the check fill plug, tightening it securely. Turn off the engine. Note, a more accurate fluid level check can be made with transmission at normal operating temperature. Drive the vehicle for about 10 to 15 miles, then recheck the level using the same method mentioned previously. With the transmission at normal operating temperature, the fluid level should fall within the dotted range, labeled number 2. Check under the vehicle for fluid leaks during the first few trips. When no leaks and proper operation is confirmed, install the under-engine rear cover, tightening the fasteners securely.